Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through message transfer. So basically how a mail is transferred. So you can even say that this is as a mail guys, mail transfer. We are discussing about mail only here. Okay. So how mail is transferred. So to transfer or to send a mail, we are having a particular protocol guys. It is nothing but SMTP. Simple mail transfer protocol. Okay. We'll be discussing about that in this lecture don't worry so message transfer system is related with the sending messages from sender to receiver okay so the connection is established from the source machine to the destination machine after once the connection was established now message can be transferred so we are having three steps right two steps you can say connection establishment sending message and if you take one more step that is nothing but connection termination okay so the TCP IP protocol that supports the email is nothing but SMTP. Okay. So let us continue and discuss about SMTP now. Okay. So SMTP, the full form is a simple mail transfer protocol. Okay. So assume that the sender wants to send a mail to the receiver. Okay. So he is ready to receive and he is sending the mail. So he will be sending the mail. We are assuming these two are different servers guys. Like one is Gmail and one is Yahoo. So you are sending the mail to some of your one of your friend who is using yahoo email id okay so you, you are sending via gmail id okay so you are sending it via internet it will go and it will receive into your friend's inbox right yes so till his mail server the whole message transfer is nothing but smtp guys it will take care smtp protocol will be taking care about that okay okay so once it is done the pop 3 or imap these are the two protocols with which he will be receiving the mail like he will be collecting the mail from the server from the mail server you can say okay okay we'll be discussing about this smtp now and in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the pop 3 and imap okay so smtp the mail from the sender to mail server so from sender to the mail server to the receiver mail server so the process will be in this way okay so smtp is used between two times between sender to sender mail server and sender mail server to receiver mail server so we are using smtp two times okay so smtp is a set of communication guidelines that allow to transmit on email over the internet so basically this is used to transmit the email so it is an application layer protocol okay Okay, so SMTP uses a TCP port number that is 25 and port 6, 465. Okay, whereas a TCP is a connection oriented and it is also called as a push protocol. Similarly, SMTP is also a text based protocol. Okay, so every time it works with the commands and responses. Okay, so now let us go through some basic commands guys. So first command is a hello used by client to identify himself. So he will be saying hello and an email id of the client guys to identify the client okay and mail from so to it to identify the sender email id so email from okay so recipient to so to identify the recipient to whom you are sending recipient to the email id which you are sending here i am sending from ramu to rani okay similarly data so here you will be showing the actual message in between the tags okay Similarly, quit is nothing but to terminate. Reset is nothing but reset the connection. Var F V is nothing but verify guys. Verify Y. Okay. Verify. So verify the recipient like whom you are sending. Similarly, help is nothing but whenever there is any kind of issue, you can use this help to identify. Okay. So these are the messages, right? Now let us go through some responses. Guys, we'll be discussing about the HTTP responses in one of our lecture. Don't worry. So these are few of the responses in SMTP. Okay. So the first response is positive that is nothing but in 200s we are having guys so in simple words you can say 2xx is a positive message that is nothing but xx could be anything so 211 is a system status and 250 is okay 214 is a help 220 is a service ready 221 is service closing okay similarly transition negative so these are negative replies so that is nothing but 421 that is nothing but service not available n name is not available guys okay similarly 450 is nothing but mail not available 451 is nothing but com command abrupted similarly 4 500 so 500 series is nothing but any kind of errors you can say okay so 500 is syntax error and 554 is transmission failed okay so 
as usual we are having a three different steps guys so the first step is nothing but establishing second step is data transfer third step is termination okay so how we will be connecting guys so initially one will be the listener and one will be the sender right so the listener will be 24 by 7 he will be listening and the sender will be requesting for it right yes okay so basically here as we are assuming that the server is 24 by 7 on and client is requesting whenever he want okay so initially he told that hello to this okay so hello xyz.com okay so he is trying to send a mail to this and he is asking the server whether it is ready so he told 250 okay so hence he told that it is ready okay so in this way the request or establishment will be done similarly termination is nothing but whenever client want to terminate he will be saying quit and the server will be responding with 221 that is nothing but close okay okay similarly message transfer so message transfer is nothing but client to server so client will be saying a mail from so he will be specifying his detail okay so ramu so already it is established right so he will be saying his detail so from ramu it is coming and it is receiving to rani right yes so rani told that it is 250 okay so he, she agreed that she, she is ready to receive the mail so now ramu will be sending the sending his data and rani will be continuously saying okay okay like like he she received she received so at the end whole transfer will be done after that he will be terminating okay yes so if you take a small example this is a small example guys i think the image is not that much clear and every message is written here only guys you can just go through it okay so here initiated by the client and this is the server client initiated with the hello received it sent acknowledgement 250 he sent to the sender email id he said okay receiver email id okay then the data okay then all data is sent at the end they quitted and that and the server also told 221 ended okay okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about how a mail is sent right so in the next lecture we will be going on through how the mail is delivered okay so now you sent it till the mail server of the receiver right so now from mail server of receiver we need to receive it so here we will be using two different protocols that is nothing but prop and imap so we'll be discussing about them in the next lecture okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching